that's called a dirty Sanchez. You want that? No. Yeah. Yeah, do that. Oh, I gotta go. Hi, everybody. Uh, 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 what are we doing here today? Quickie, sort of. Kind of important. And it's something I should have put in the previous video, which was about transmission stuff and related durability issues and, and assessments, all right? Here's a question that comes up constantly and has come up constantly since 2014 when all this malarkey started with the ProMaster. Um, questions about the topics I want to cover are the downshifting behavior and the tow haul mode in your transmission. This way, I won't have to retype this every freaking time somebody asks me. All right, let's talk about the downshifting first. The downshifting is annoying. You're going down a slight hill in your in your van, and it and it zings up to 4,000 RPM, and 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 it jerks when it does that because it's going from 2,000 RPM to 4,000 RPM. Sometimes it'll double shift down to fourth gear, and it'll zing up to 5,000 RPM or something. It's very disconcerting. Everybody, including myself, complains about it. But the important things to know is it's in there for a reason. That transmission programming is there because these vans scale out to 9,700, 9,800 pounds. And once you build a motorhome on them, you're not looking at the scale. I'm not looking at the scale. And um, you'll be well over 10,000 pounds. And that's a lot to expect from the brakes. Uh, the brakes are great, but you're going down a long grade or something like that, you're going to catch the brakes on fire. And engine braking, which is what we're talking about, or compression braking, using the resistance of the engine to slow the vehicle down, thus preserving the, the service brakes, the friction brakes, is a safety feature built into your van because it's so heavy and because its, it's, it's duty range is so wide. The more important thing to know about the engine braking is there's not a goddamn thing you can do about it. It's baked into the software. There's a few workarounds, but it is not something as simple as, as plugging in a scanner and telling the computer to stop doing that. It's built into the transmission. So you're just going to have to live with it. Now, some of it is our biases as old farts, at least speaking for myself, because I have decades of use of V8 engines that just loaf along at 2000 RPM. And even when they downshift, they zip up to 2,500 RPM. It feels weird to me to have an engine spinning at 5,000 RPM, but if I told you that on a sport bike or a Ferrari, you'd go, what the hell is he talking about? Formula One drivers idle at 5,000 RPM. So it's our own inherent biases as big engine Americans uh, to be concerted by this, this revving. But remember, the Pentastar engine that's in your ProMaster is a thoroughly modern design with dual overhead cams, four valves per cylinder. It's a chain. It, everything is oiled. You could zip that engine to 6,000 RPM all day, every day, and it wouldn't give a goddamn because it's just a big spinning piece of metal and it doesn't care. It either works or it doesn't, and they are tested to that. That is the RPM limit. I think that's the red line, the, the electrically imposed red line in the engine. Another thing to know about this topic real quick is that if you're in park, you can't idle your, you can't rev your engine past 3,000. It won't let you because it doesn't trust you. And you're not to be trusted if you're, if you're trying to do 5,000 RPM neutral drops. So in conclusion, the downshifting and engine braking feature is something that you cannot change and you're just going to have to deal with it. I'm with you. If the road is slippery, it's actually kind of a, it's a more of a safety feature about the downshifting than it is about the, the, the engine braking, but there's nothing you can do. That brings us to the second topic here which is tow haul mode. What the fuck is tow haul mode and what the fuck does tow haul mode do? Well, let me tell you. Tow haul, all it does is in software, it increases the shift points or increases the RPM at which shifting happens and it delays the torque converter lockup because the torque converter is the thing that is designed to slip and multiply torque and also allow the engine to spin at a different RPM than the drivetrain. Um, but that, uh, since the late 70s, those have had an electric clutch inside, or a hydraulic clutch in this case, that locks the converter together, locking it one-to-one -one so that it doesn't slip, and that's good for mileage and other things. Um, tow haul mode, as I say, raises the, shift, the, the shifting points and delays that converter lockup, which allows it to trade a little bit more torque for a little bit higher RPM. Now, that's going to increase performance when you're hauling heavy because you're getting more torque at the expense of higher RPM and some fuel economy, minor amounts of fuel economy. Um, and you're getting, uh, it will still go into lockup once it's at cruising speed, anything above 2000 RPM or, or any low load situation, because the computer is monitoring the load on the transmission at any time, and it always wants to go into lockup. And you will notice lockup if you're 
slowly accelerating to highway speed, you'll see that at a certain point, the RPMs drop about 200 RPM, and it feels like a shift, or it looks like a shift, but it's not. It's the converter going to lock up, pulling about 200 RPM off of the, off of the engine. Um, the important thing to know about tow haul is it doesn't do a damn thing for longevity or reliability or breakage or anything like that. It's purely software. And the engine, of course, if the engine's, if you have put 10,000 pounds in the back, the engine knows this, the computer knows this, and it will delay, it will raise shift points and delay lockup anyway, but tow haul just kind of forces that, forces its hand, I suppose. And you'll notice a little bit more performance, especially if you were pulling really heavy loads or towing, hence the term tow or haul. Um, and uh, I had a, a person make a comment on the U-Face tubes, uh, which was very smart. He says he engages it all the time because it smooths out the city shifting to a certain extent, which makes sense. It's going to delay lockup, so it's going to be less of abrupt shifts, and it's going to smooth out that ramp a little bit. Man, you can play with that lockup button all you want. It won't hurt anything. I have a sound effect to close this out. Was there anything else I wanted to talk about and forgot to? This you got the lockup, you got the tow haul, and you, and, and you got the downshifting, and I think I've done it. This is my sound effect, which is what I think of you. That's what I think of when I think of you. All right, there'll be more exciting videos in the future with more technical stuff. Damn it, I love you. Say it back. Say it. Say it like you mean it. Say it!